Hi, I'm David Gravette. I've been skating for how long have I been skating? <laughs> Should have thought about that before we started. Um, 22 years. Been skateboarding 22 years. Been aggressive living for all of the 32. And uh, we're going to talk about some of my best slams I've managed to get on tape. Oh, God. Dude, my shoulder's out. Oh! 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 I think we got some good ones to go over, so enjoy your quarantine. It's like the, the ones that are the most obvious to me are like the one in Scotland where I bent my back, really fucked me up. I was probably 17 or just freshly 18. The setup's pretty perfect for flying out of the half pipe to grinding that, that rail. Then I slipped out, caught my back, and did the whole half flip off. And since the I was landing in a bank, it like over rotated my flip even more. It's It knocked me out somehow. And I don't think I hit my head. You can see the footage. I don't think I hit my head, but I just like went out. And then I remember like coming to and being like, I can't move my fucking legs. I couldn't get up and walk without the most insane pain going all through my body. Like I sat in the hospital for nine hours, never saw a doctor. I still to this day think I probably fractured my back in some way or because I was not all right for the whole rest of the trip. My shoulders and hips have been in a constant war between who's more fucked up than the other during my career and I was trying to get my ender for the last creature video and I'd always been looking at this rail inside NHS inside the distribution center and it's like a 22 or something and uh, we went through all the trouble of pushing the big racks of product out of the way. We had to build a runway to it. It turned into a huge deal and I was just there for a week just looking at it every day. I finally got my first try and I just, I don't know what happened to this day. I just, I felt the lip slide felt great. I was a little back on it so I jumped off and then when I landed I just felt my shoulder go and it was an all too familiar feeling. Dude, my shoulder's out. It wasn't even pain, it's just like you're so angry. I was just like, I couldn't believe it. I just couldn't believe I knew what was coming. I actually did not know what was coming because that was the start of my off the board for two years because I went through that surgery. First day I tried to skate, hips started popping out. No footage of that one, but then straight into another surgery. Didn't work. Two years off the board. Oh, God. Yep. And after dislocating my hip 300 plus times, doing like such things as sitting down and fucking whatever. And I had my first hip surgery when I was like 16. It was back when Burnside was like way grimier than it is now. There's the upper parking lot and I fell on a flat ground tray flip up there and cut my palm. And the next day my hand was super infected. But then like the next day after that, my hand was fine. But then my hip just blew up, like got super swollen for no reason. Went to the emergency room and they cut it open. All this blood and pus just spewed out. And they were like, oh my God, like this is actually a, like a pretty gnarly blood infection. And that's when they finally like tested it. Was close to losing my leg. No like bullshit about it. My biggest meltdowns have probably been the, the kink rail. Oh! I think I did break my wrist on that. Oh man, I break my wrist. I sacked it, but yeah, the emotions oh. were what really hurt. Oh my god, I hate this, dude! Having to go back there th three different times and get to almost make it and then get kicked out. We had to fly back like two months later and go through all of it. So it was just, and everyone, none of them were easy. Like even the one where I landed it, it was still a bat. Like it just always, I made it to that last kink so many times, but there's something about every long rail that I grind about the last four feet that just will drive a man crazy. No, no, no! short film creature made bloodshed we were all doing death scenes and for my death scene i was like running from neil heading we're both all done up and like makeup and fake injuries he's chasing me down the street and they're gonna film it out of the back of a van first take we start bombing down the hill the thing was they didn't realize how fast i was gonna go i can't see anything that's coming all i can see is like three dudes with cameras sitting in the back of the van and i have suddenly hit the speed bump and got all out of control and I just veered off to the right, and then as soon as I like got out of the vision of these spread van doors, 
There's, I kid you not, a glass carrying van. But I didn't hit the glass. I managed to adjust my body to just slam into the back, but I broke the tail light with my arm right here. And uh, as soon as I saw it, as soon as I hit, I looked and like this part of my arm right here was open, like just massive. And this part was pulled, was balled up down he here. And I was like, okay, we gotta go to the hospital right now. Hospital! Hospital! Got to the hospital. We looked so crazy. We looked like out of Mad Max or something like coming in there. And so immediately like staff comes running up and they're like, what's going on? What's going on? And I'm like, oh, we just came from a movie set. Like. Most of this is fake. And so she immediately looked at my arm and was like, oh, good, so that's fake. And I was like, no, that's actually real. I ended up getting like 30, 38 stitches or something. And like, it was just so funny, like the first take of bloodshed. That's enough pain and sadness for now. Thanks for watching my battle scars and uh, stay safe out there. Stay it's quarantined and let's get out of this penalty box as quick as we can. Yeah. Oh, God. Dude, my shoulder's out. Man,